Welcome to part three of our measurement experiment. In this part, we'll be examining mass measurements. We'll be measuring mass of grams, and the items we'll be looking at are pennies. You can see I've got three of them here, one, two, three. We also got two different balances. We have a metler Toledo balance, uh, very commonly found in college chemistry labs. And I also have a blaze balance down here from a home chemistry kit. We'll be able to compare the precision of these two different devices. Now you can see here, I've started by already pre-measuring the masses of penny one and penny two. Penny one, this one right here, which I will move over a little bit, had a mass of 2.4981 when measured on the lab balance and 2.51 when measured on the home balance. Penny two had similar masses of 2.5044 grams and 2.51 grams when measured on the two different balances. Let's take a look at penny three. All right, now to use the balance, the first thing I want to do is make sure that it's clean and clear of any other items uh, in the balance area. We have a few different doors that we can open and close depending on what it is we're trying to load into the balance. Whenever we're taking a measurement, we want to make sure all those doors are closed. And we're going to first tear the balance. So we're going to hit the tear, or in this case, the zero slash T button, and make sure that it resets to zero. All right, found on the scale right here. All right, I'm going to tell you that it says zero right now. I'm going to show you the measurement. Here, yeah, we'll pick it up. It is reset to zero. Now, the balance is very sensitive to vibrations, so I need to make sure I'm standing very still so that it takes an even, balance, an even reading. All right, let's take penny three and get the mass of it. You might notice that I'm wearing a glove. This isn't because pennies are particularly hazardous, but I want to make sure I'm not getting any oils from my fingers onto the things that I'm trying to uh, measure. All right, now I've got the penny in there. You can see it's sitting in the middle of the pan. Let's see what we have for our measurement. 3.0460. Let's just write that down. Three point zero four six zero grams. Right, let's take the same measurement on our home balance. I'm going to turn that on. We can see now that that is already teared to zero. Let's put that penny on there. Take it out of here put it on our home balance, and we see that we have a measurement of 3.05. Notice here we only have two places past the decimal point on this balance. It's because these two instruments have different precisions. So I see 3.05 grams. Now, if you look at our data, you might notice that there seems to be a particular discrepancy between pennies one and two and penny three. Notably, penny three has a mass of about three grams, while pennies one and two only have a mass of 2.5 grams. Let's take a closer look at these three pennies. Here's penny one, here's penny two, and here's penny three. I'll leave it to you to hypothesize and or determine why penny three shows a noted mass difference from penny one and penny two.